but we're going to have one more thing that we do before we before we leave the class I have we have Howie come on up Howie I want you to interview Howie does anybody know him no you know Howie okay Howie you want to grab uh -oh. a microphone oh you have him oh, they, they Howie, okay so you guys have to figure out who Howie is and why he's here now some logical things to think about. First, he's at Loyola. Second, he's in your class right now, so he must have some contacts in the music business. And John Snyder told him to come over here. So I mean, you have three clues, so play detective. We're not going to let Howie go until you figure out who he is. I don't know who he is either, so come on, let's go. Ask some questions. Okay. Oh, there's one. Howie, what do you do for a living? Um, I do a lot of things for a living, actually. Could you name a couple of them? Um, let's see, today I was moving a cooler. <laughs> you were moving a cooler? Today I moved a 95-inch a 90, a reach-in cooler. Is that part of your regular job, or is that just an odd thing? It's part of my do? job description, yes. OK, OK. So is this like a 20 questions thing? Or? It's going to be at the okay. rate you're going. You I'm not going to make it easy on you, by the way. <laughs> Howie's not making it easy. Come on, you can ask him again. You're... Thanks for your help, by the way. Hi, Howie. How you doing? How is music involved in your everyday life? Oh, God. Where do I start? Um, this morning, actually, I have a five-year-old son. And I'm working with his school to, to start doing a music program. And I spoke with Phil Frazier from the Rebirth Brass Band, and we're going to be working to bring musical programs into the schools. And we were talking about ways to work with, with the Rebirth Brass Band and some of the other musicians to keep them, to keep them busy. Because I, I know that a lot of you guys know that the musicians in this town are having a rough time right now. So particularly today, that was one of my favorite things that I did, because it's, some, it's a kind of a passion of mine to bring those bands back into the schools. Oh. Stephen's got a question. What is your job title? Um, do I actually have a job title? Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm a, I'm, I'm a janitor. I'm a bartender. <laughs> I'm a talent buyer. Um, I'm a general manager, um, night manager, accountant. I could probably go on and on on that one. I put a lot of hats on. Howie, okay. Um, so you're obviously here today at Loyola looking at all of us students. Um, which company are you representing today, and how do you think us as students can benefit you? I represent the Howlin' Wolf Music Club. Um, I'm the owner slash general manager, um, and we met with John Snyder last week to, act, to actually figure out ways to answer that question, um, to work with some of your, your EU units that y'all are putting together that have been together for, I think, a few years now and to figure out what you guys want to do in the music business, not just what I can use you for. We got the question answered. You, uh, you did. Good she got job. It. You nailed she it. She asked it directly. You just, she needs to get some candy for that. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to tell them? But it's funny because if you take a look over here, some of you guys may know Stu Shea over here, who is my assistant talent buyer. He was kind of in y'all's where you guys are sitting about five years ago. Um, and in a few years, he will probably take over um, all talent buying duties and possibly the general manager position of the Howlin' Wolf. 1300 Capacity Club, and a few years ago, he was doing exactly what you guys are doing. So my question to you guys, I guess, because I want to know more, is, is what do you guys want to do? Why are you sitting in these seats right now? Can anybody answer that question? Or is it just, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of biding my time until something better comes along or until I can figure out what I want to do. <laughs> so, so, so essentially you're ready to start receiving government assistance now? <laughs> Thank you.
What's, what's the, Hunter, the Hunter S. Thompson quote? Does anybody in here know? Uh, the music industry is, 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 a dark, is a dark, shallow trench where, 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 where thieves run free and dogs, and, and good, good men, men die, die like, like dogs. dogs. And then there's a dark side. <laughs> he said that about the TV business, too. <laughs> Pretty close, though. Huh? It's the same thing. <laughs> you had a question? You had a question. I just saw a hand raised, so I was going to it. Oh, well, to answer your question of what I want to do in the industry is just I want to be able to enjoy my day job every day, and I found that music is kind of a category that lets me do that. So I'm open as to where I'm going, but with that in mind, I have the greatest job in the world. And you know why? Because I love what I do. And I'm just sitting here watching. I'm fascinated just watching you. And you, I could never do what you do, because I don't <laughs> love what you do. <laughs> I love what I do. I wouldn't be a good musician so, either. So, so that's a, that's a, that is a great answer to the question. Find what it is that you love, and then figure out a way. S 10 years ago, I was, I was selling beer at, at Coors Field, running up and down the stairs, selling you know, ice cold, ice cold Coors Light. That was essentially my job, and I loved it. I'm a huge baseball fan, so I got to see Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa and Barry Bonds and all these guys on their home run quest. And so that was a fascinating thing for me, but I couldn't do that anymore. First of all, my knees are shot. But I, really, I got, I got very lucky, and I got to be able to come in to do something that I love. And then I kind of get to see it with some of you guys, with some of the interns that we've had over the years and some of the students and some of the people that come in as rock stars and as musicians that come in and really enjoy what they do. So if you're going to pick something in the music industry, which is notoriously difficult to make a decent living at, make sure you love what you do and don't just do it just to do it. Absolutely. And that's what I would say, unless anybody has any other questions. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the last thing I wanted to say about interviews nice. is in this life, you only have one thing, and that's your word. And if you ever go back on your word, people find it hard to trust you and hard to deal with you. So if you're interviewing somebody and they ask you if you would avoid talking about this or that, and you agree to avoid talking about this or that, and then you get on that microphone and the camera's in their face and you ask them that question, you will ruin it for yourself and you'll ruin it for them. So you never want to be that person. There's no interview in the world that's worth betraying a trust. And there's nothing, you, there's, it's really difficult to regain your good name. You all start with a really good name and you want to keep it that way. And in this business, it's kind of hard to, to keep your good name. So what you want to do is make sure you keep your word. If you say you're going to do something, if you say you're going to be somewhere, then do it, then be in that place and be the kind of person that, that other people will say, yeah, if she said something, I can take that to the bank. Because that means more than anything else you can do in, in pretty much in life. Because if you're that person, you don't have to be in music. You can be in banking. You can be in government. You can be anywhere. As long as you have the trust of the public, it's, it's a good thing. So you do that. And like Howie says, do what you love. The money will follow. Whatever it is you love to do, I tell my students in television all the time, what do you like to do the most? And a lot of people are embarrassed that they like to watch TV. I love to watch TV. I make TV. I live to do TV. So there's just no way in the world that I could ever stop doing that because it's just some sheep. They're laughing. They probably like to watch TV too. You do? Uh-huh. In commercials. <laughs> Give them cable. <laughs> but, but it's one of those things. If you really enjoy something, and especially in your, you're in music, and you love TV, guess what? TV uses a lot of music and a lot of new music. So if you want to get into that angle of it, you can do it. I mean, do what you love. Everything else will follow. Thank you. You have been a great audience. Lisa Martin. <laughs>